We are all busy today. We're busier than people have ever been in the history of the universe. We're all spread thin. We all wish we had more time in the day. And time is our number one least renewable resource. Once a moment of time has passed, it's not coming back. It can never be recovered. It can never be replaced. And we'd all love to eliminate. We all have wasted time in our lives. And we'd all love to eliminate wasted time. We'd all love to be able to live a life in which we don't waste any time, in which no time is wasted. Which means in which uh, living a life in which all our time is spent constructively making something happen that we want to be making happen. Ultimately, that's what it means. Or doing something that we enjoy. And there are going to be a number of practical steps, very simple, basic practical steps to eliminating probably a lot of the waste in our lives. Um, It's going to start with identifying which activities, which pursuits, which projects, whatever it is. What are the things that we are doing? What are the things that are taking up time in our lives that we don't really want to be doing or that are not constructive, that are not leading towards something that we're interested in? That's step number one. The step number one to eliminating waste is to identify the waste. We've got to identify what are the things in our lives, the things that we're spending time on that we would better not be spending time on, that are wasting our time. And to do this properly, we need to be pretty brutal. You know, a brutal self-assessment of how we're spending our time, what could and should we eliminate if we want to stop wasting time. And then once we've identified where and how we're wasting time. The next step then is obviously going to be to strategize how we can can eliminate these time-wasting activities from our schedules, from our lives, how we can stop doing these things which are wasting a lot of our time. And, you know, there are a lot of places where you can find resources about this, psychology resources, productivity resources, but... We all know that that's not what this podcast is about. This is not a psychology podcast. It's not a productivity podcast. And additionally, there's going to be more that we need if we want to eliminate all waste from our lives. Because what this process of identifying avoidable, and that's going to be a key word here, avoidable waste, and then eliminating it is that that is going to help us with the things that waste our time that are avoidable, that we can stop doing. But we all have things in our lives that we don't have the option to stop doing, things that are obligatory, things that we can't eliminate because they're necessary parts of our lives, but they're not contributing towards the goals that we want to be achieving. We don't enjoy them. You know, let's call them regrettable necessities. They're things that we wish we didn't have to do and we wouldn't have to do. And maybe technically that, you know, we can't avoid them. They're not waste because they avoid bigger issues or problems or whatever it is. But they're not things we really want to be doing. And they're not generating or achieving any outcomes or anything that we want. And these things can really feel like a waste and we can't eliminate them. So if we have things in our lives that are, let's call it wasting our time, that we can't eliminate... How is it going to be possible to eliminate all the waste in our lives so that we never feel like we're wasting a second of our time ever? Right. And that was that was the commitment of this episode of the podcast is achieving a life, the ability, the real possibility of achieving a life in which you never have a second of wasted time ever. So. What I want to get to now is a real practical approach to not having anything in your life that isn't immediately constructive and productive. Nothing in your life that ever feels like it's a waste, ever. Every part of your life, every moment, every day will be immediately valuable and constructive and productive and bring you immediately to an outcome that you want and that brings satisfaction in the moment immediately. And this is going to be an approach that you're not going to hear. Uh, Maybe you'll hear it to a degree from some psychologists. Maybe you're definitely not going to be hearing this from productivity coaches. 
and this is not to put them down. I, you know, have productivity follow- coaches that I follow personally and that I, I get a lot of constructive input from and that I find very helpful. But that's not where we're going. This isn't a productivity podcast. It's not a psychology podcast. So first of all, if we want to eliminate waste from our lives, let's talk about what waste means. What is what is wasted time, right? And let's say that, and, and why don't we like wasted time? Why does wasted time bother us so much? If we're spending time on something that is not contributing to an outcome that we want to achieve, well, um, th- some things that we do are fun. So those are immediately valuable. Let's say that it's a kind of fun that we deem valuable and worthwhile, and it's a, maybe a constructive part of our you know, emotional health or whatever it is, just part of being a normal, healthy person. Things that are fun can be very constructive and worthwhile. So if something's fun, that makes it worthwhile. If something is bringing us towards an outcome that we want, towards a goal, towards something that we want to achieve, towards something that we want to create for ourselves, whatever it is, then if it's bringing us to closer, if it's getting us there, that makes it worthwhile because it's bringing us, we're spending time to come closer to something, an outcome that we want to achieve, an outcome that we want to reach, which makes it worthwhile. But if we're spending time on something that's not bringing us any closer to something that we consider worthwhile, that we consider valuable, right? And sometimes we spend time on something and we think it's bringing us closer. And then after all this time is spent, we realize it didn't bring us closer at all and feel frustrated because we just wasted time. We just spent this time that could have and should have been bringing us closer to the outcome that we wanted. And it wasn't, which means our outcome is now further away than it could and would have been had we spent that time constructively rather than, rather than wasting the time. So, you know, wasting time is is frustrating because it delays outcomes that we want. It delays our sense of achievement. It delays the meaning and fulfillment and sense of purpose that we feel when we achieve our goals or, or, or reach the things that, that or generate the outcomes that we're trying to, to generate. The actual damage, the actual reason that we're frustrated when time gets wasted is because let's say the outcome that we're trying to achieve the goal that we're trying to achieve the thing that we're trying to make happen is going to bring us maybe a sense of fulfillment or purpose or pleasure or satisfaction or achievement we're trying to move towards something that's going to give us a feeling or a an experience that we want to experience when we reach that goal and time wasted stops us from from feeling that or from achieving that, which makes it frustrating because it's delaying this experience that we want to have when we reach that goal. Now, there are going to be, as mentioned earlier, some things that are delaying, you know, our achieving goals, etc., that we can avoid and that we can eliminate, but there are going to be some that we can't. Now, if we can't avoid these things that are wasting our time, quote unquote, How can we eliminate waste from our day? And the answer is, if we can introduce the sense of value, achievement, purpose, meaning that we are waiting to have at the end when we achieve that goal and that outcome, if we can realize how the thing we're doing in the moment that we think is wasting our time is really bringing us a sense of purpose and meaning, making our life meaningful in this moment, even though it doesn't necessarily seem to be the case, and it brings us a sense of purpose, a sense of achievement, a sense of meaning in the moment, then it's not wasted time anymore. It's become time well spent because it has brought us a valuable outcome. And in a sense, it's going to bring us the outcome that we were trying to achieve down the road. It's just that we could actually have it immediately right now anyway, without having to wait for it. So ultimately, what we have to do is reframe the way that we see things. We have to see things, see the bigger picture in a more real and complete way, rather than just looking at things at the surface. And we can redefine what things mean to us and how we experience things so that no time is ever wasted. Even if we're spending it on something we don't want to be spending it on, and it's not bringing us to the outcome that we want to be achieving or maybe we thought it would get there get us there and it doesn't if you haven't yet click on the subscribe button then click on the notification bell to see future videos and please again share the link wherever you share things on social media facebook wherever it is whatsapp groups whatsapp status to help this message reach more people this has been the bites of judaism podcast this podcast has been made possible by mr and mrs dobbin and marquis Smetana. If you found it valuable, please leave a five-star rating and a review. It really does help it reach more people. And tell your friends about it. 
If you haven't yet, you can subscribe on all the major podcast platforms at rabbiglick.link slash podcast. To dedicate a future episode of the podcast, send an email to podcast at rabbiglick.com. See you next time.